What's up, fellow journeyers? So for today's video, we are stepping back in time to something we filmed <laughs> at the Balloon Fiesta of last year. This toy hauler fifth wheel is just a tour we feel like we have to show you because I don't know if you've ever thought, well, I could never live in an RV. Too small, too cramped, it doesn't feel like a home. This tour alleviates all of that. <laughs> <laughs> if you have someone on the fence, you need to show them this video because <laughs> it's one of the best remodels we've ever ever seen. It's incredible. Get ready for your mind to uh, be blown. <laughs> so thank you Mark and Rachel with The Wonderful Way and their family of five for letting us do this tour. Let's check it out. What is that? <laughs> they got a camera. Do you have a doorbell? Yes. And a camera? And a ring? Hey guys. That is fancy. <laughs> We actually have a really funny story about that. Oh no, you're gonna It was dance. used in a uh, criminal thing that happened there. Our ring video was. So. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. You yeah. helped solve a, a case? Yes. We helped identify the, the guy that was going door to door in the campground, yeah. And they, Whoa. Caught, they caught him a couple days later. He actually ran, walked by our door first, and our mm. friend Ryan was sitting in that. He goes, like dude, the there's a naked guy just ran by your door. I was like, you kidding me? And I get up. By the time I get up, he, he was opening the door, trying to come in. Oh, okay. wow. <laughs> I'm blown away. Like, I have seen this rig in pictures, but this is the first time we've actually been in here, and it is amazing. I don't even know where to start. Like, my eyes are going everywhere. <laughs> it feels like Magnolia Market in here is the one I say. I love the black and white. And, of course, I'm, like, loving these windows. There is so much light. We're really big on light. This is a Heartland Cyclone 4006, and it was actually the first toy hauler layout that we saw uh -huh. that didn't that had a functional living room. Yes. All yes. the all the toy haulers, they've got great space in yes. the back, great space in front, and you walk in, they've got one couch. Also, I have a sofa that doubles as a dinette. I can sit and watch TV. I can eat. We got people eating at the bar. Tons of entertainment space in this camper. That is our one downside of the toy hauler. I agree. Yeah. Is you sacrifice your living area, your mm -hmm. kitchen and living room, to have the garage in the back. But this look at this space. This you is could incredible. Be conversing in the kitchen. Yeah. You got the living room. Wow. So you could comfortably seat a lot of people here. Yeah, because you have you, you have a large here. family, right? You have, have three kids, and they're larger. They're teenagers. They're yeah. teenagers. So <laughs> yeah, this you is our teen hauler. Um, teen hauler. A teen hauler. I love yeah. it. When we bought this, we knew we were going to change it, which is kind of like we're going to renovate a brand new RV. <laughs> so we, we knew we were going to go with white um, on the cabinets and the and the walls. We decided to spray instead mm -hmm. of oh, roll. Okay. So that's a huge. Commitment. So you've done both. You have rolled. Mm -hmm. so done you can both. See both. And yeah, I'll big. never roll again because the finish is a hundred times better and. It, it's just better coverage, it looks better, it's a better end result. Mm -hmm. It's 90% prep and 10% spray. I mean, literally it took me probably, just for the cabinets in this area, it probably took me six to eight hours to prep, like coming in here and taping all the openings, you know. Yeah. Like this was the this is the original color of the cabinets, the brown, and then, and so we, so I taping all that and then, you know, just making sure everything was prepped right and then literally it's like brr, brr, and it's, brr, it's done. <laughs> And wow. then you just let it dry and then you hit it with the finish cut, you know. And you did ceilings and everything. Yeah. Did yeah. the ceiling. That was yeah. actually one of the reasons we decided to spray is because of the ceiling. Yeah. I didn't want to be up there with the roller. You know. Nathan rolled our Airstream ceiling. Do you like the white? I love the white. We got some white going on. I so. said it's probably going to look like a hospital room. So we're, so we're getting there. I'm going to guess we still got at least another day or two of painting to go. Oh my <laughs> I had 60 hours in that thing. 60 painting. hours for 30 feet. You walk in a lot of renovated RVs and you can tell when they've been painted. And I can tell a difference with the spray. Like it looks very polished. It's mm -hmm. just a very clean paint job. We replaced the slide uh, frames. They, they had like this backlit, like Vegas type. <laughs> 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 I love that you have like this velvety texture. Like the textures in the prints just really mm -hmm. pop mm -hmm. in here. And this is comfortable too. How'd you find it to it's fit? A, perfect. It was just World Market. World know, Market. My favorite store. Me too. <laughs> Typical love seat is 60 inches yeah. in width. And when you clo <clears throat> close in, there's no issues. There's no issue. We, we we did not bolt this one down. Uh -huh. So on, depending on what road you're on, this one, this one will kind of move around a little bit. But, can, but it can only go so far because this slide comes into here. 
that slide comes into about right here, so you still have a walkway. Yeah. The other big thing, like, that was probably the biggest undertaking in the RV was the floor. It was lino, which is typical for RVs, and we, we decided to put LVP, which is luxury vinyl plank, mm -hmm. and it basically, you know, is about this thick, but each board locks in with each other, but it's kind of a floating floor. You don't secure it. You mm -hmm. just put, you know, I just put shoe molding, so the floor will move a little bit with the motion of the of the RV. So the other interesting thing is the um, this is all the door is on the slide, which is a very oh, that's yeah. a different um, yeah. thing right. from other RVs. So we did a chevron accent wall there for the we there was cabinets up above the television. Up here, you took yeah. the cabinets out they and you like added baby. these boards. This. Yeah. Backing? Yeah, the cabinets were like four inches deep, so they really didn't do much of oh, anything. Oh, okay. So we took yeah. those out. Of course, you took the balance, it had balances, I'm sure, right? You took that all those out. One. Yeah. That was the way out. Yeah. <laughs> well, it had like these scallop, scalloped, like wood paneling things up uh -huh. here. Oh, we wow. had those. Yeah, that's one thing we liked about this particular RV is the windows were a lot bigger. Yeah. And there's windows on both sides of Absolutely. the RV. Absolutely. Our old RV had great space yeah, but it only had one mm -hmm. window on the what driver's side mm -hmm. of the rv uh, we say two of the windows like it's not just having a window it's you want that window to at least be eye level if possible instead of having to say oh you know oh, we are at yellowstone you know <laughs> um these are obviously eye level even if you're like seven foot two it looks like my goodness <laughs> these are i know a lot of people always ask about if you like kitchen and the workspace you have, do you like this one? So I love the mid bunk that we had before with the big island. I enjoyed that a lot, mm -hmm. but this is a one person. So whoever is, whoever is <laughs> cooking. Cook a couple. Yeah. <laughs> so before I could have like a kid helping me chop something, yeah. but it, this is a one a one human. man job, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so I mean, it's a good size, but you know, you're definitely like if you and I were in here, we're definitely yeah. you know snug. Um, but it's been great so far, yeah. I think. The upper cabinets can be a challenge for Rachel. Oh, I'm five oh, four. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I'm, I'm five. Showing yeah. you behind. I know. The, don't behind don't, the don't, ju don't judge. Like if it's uh, nothing. No, that <laughs> like, is not. It's a bottom. I can't yeah. like reach anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> so. so you just go and you get me one of these. Right? Yeah. 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 Problem yeah. solved. Little TJ. Max. <laughs> One big upgrade we did in the kitchen was we took the microwave out. Oh yeah. Which mm -hmm. was not a vented microwave. So our old rig had a vented convection oven slash microwave combo, which you don't think about it, but but like anything you cook on that stovetop is going to release fumes and and smoke like bacon, say for instance. Mm -hmm. I mean the, the 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 room would just fill with bacon. So we took we mm -hmm. took the microwave out and we put a vent hood in. Um, and it and had a friend of ours um, that's an RV tech, great RV tech. Um, he cut a vent for us, and now now we've got it'll suck everything out, you know. Because mm. before, you know, we were relying on this vent yeah. up here, and it just doesn't cut. Yeah, it. It just for doesn't sure. Cut it. So in our old RV, we had a residential fridge, which was actually probably one of the biggest refrigerators <laughs> we'd ever had, even when we were in a sticks and bricks. And, but this one, when we, when we decided to go with the toy hauler with the onboard generator, we didn't want to have any limitations for exactly what we're doing here. We're parked in a basically a, a gravel lot, no electricity, no water, no you know uh, sewer hookup, and our fridge is running on propane, and it has been for the last five days. It auto switches over to electric or propane, but this way we, we can go anywhere, we can do anything, we don't have any limitations, which is great. All right. Take a look at the garage. I just want to say that. I want a garage. <laughs> when we ordered the RV, it comes with these Happy Jack sofas, mm -hmm. which are about this thing. We, we knew we weren't going to use those, so I asked Hartman if they would give us one more bed mm. so we could have two drop-down beds. So basically these beds come down. One drops right here where this little plate is, stops, mm -hmm. and then the other one will come down That's cool. Here. Which That's something scary. yeah people probably don't think about adding that extra bed. And you're how tall are you? Six two. You're six two and still I mean, so you're good on the height adding that extra bed. It's not like it matters. And then we have our fourteen year old up here. Mm -hmm. and a lot so. up there. If you noticed this rig does not have a dining room, which it's kind of a value of mine. I would love to have family dinners, mm -hmm. all of that. So when we can put the back down I put this table out and it fits, you know, oh, six or eight people. That's a great idea. Out on that's the patio. Cool. You, you've got the glass door separating the patio mm -hmm. from it's it here. It's a three-season door, so it'll keep oh. it keeps it somewhat insulated, like uh -huh. 
Last night, I think it was down to, what, 50, 40, 48, something, 45. Okay. And, you know, if we would have had those open, it would have been cooler, cool, colder in here. And But that air conditioner does a pretty good job uh -huh. keeping it cool in here uh -huh. during the summer, believe it or not. You got an LG. Um, is this one vented or ventless? It's non-vented. It's a steam It's a steam one, which I didn't think we were going to like. It hasn't been an issue. We had a vented one before. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. With our... Because our washer and dryer was in our bedroom, uh -huh. in the mid bunk in the closet, and that one was vented. Which, <clears throat> honestly, they're they're pretty much the same because the the bowl is a lot smaller. So you you put too much in there, it's not gonna you know function properly. Uh -huh. You know, so we always have to make sure that if the kids are doing laundry, you're saying you know make sure you don't put too much in there. <laughs> you can go through. It's got the Jack and Jill entry cabinets here we took the cabinets out because you know you couldn't even get your face down here to wash your face in you the have sink. to do the like teeth brushing test right i feel like so many people you don't realize when this cabinet is here you can't even bend down to brush your teeth so when you're rv shopping either like you're saying take it out or do the teeth brushing test exactly so there was basically glass doors right here which even made it feel even smaller yeah. Yeah. because literally like you get out of the shower this is the room you have to dry off you know but now it's like oh yeah all kinds all kinds of room in here yeah a family one time said that they were able to if one person was in the shower you could actually use the toilet too because it wasn't a glass where you right. could see through like you could still have your privacy but if you needed to access the toilet at the same time yeah. if you've got a large Family. You gotta go, you gotta go, even though someone's in the in the shower sometimes. I think this is a genius idea. Pretty simple thing. We like those. Yeah. That's a massive bedroom window. I they didn't skimp on the windows in this thing, man. So I work mostly here in my space and um this had a really neat cabinet that came out and that you could put a TV that would come up out of it. But for us, the, the actual drawers and things were not functional. So Mark found this one and he had to do some little, um, you know, adjusting down below because there's wires and Metal such. Beam. Where'd you yeah. get the bed desk? Amazon. Amazon for the desk. And then I cut, I cut the back yeah. legs at an angle so oh, it would yeah. just rest on the metal beam that's right here because the beam is actually part of the structure. So we decided to do a curtain, which I'm still kind of getting used to it. It used to be mirrored yeah. um, doors, but mm -hmm. they were very warped. Uh, and so, so like you try to look yeah. at a full length mirror and as a girl, you don't want anything to be warped. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, Hensley's using our full length mirror now. She's the one that comes in and Cute. wants to look at her outfits and That ours. will not change for the next uh, <laughs> When we got the RV, there was a false panel here on mm -hmm. each one of these. So these weren't open. Oh, okay. To access these, you had to go in through here. Mm -hmm. or I did <laughs> to actually get, you know, here it is. <laughs> but so I was just like, well, it'd be much more functional if, it, if you just knocked those out. So when we painted this room, I just decided to knock those out on both sides, which it's a lot easier just to grab your shoes yeah, like yeah. this and have to, you know, sometimes I'd have to get a light just to see what was back there. You know? mm -hmm. so, I think we see the trend of people taking out, in the la we did a reflection the other day, and like mm -hmm. of taking out the hard doors and putting in curtains. I think they give it a softer feel, they give more flexibility. You're actually saving weight. So if you enjoyed this tour and you want to check out more tours, we have, if you want to flash back even farther to <laughs> 2016, we were boondocking out in Craggy Wash with the Airstream. We found out there are two sets of RVers out there with some incredible renovations. One was a vintage Airstream renovation. The other, I'm curious if you've ever heard of this brand, there's an Americamp Wrangler trailer. But this is Travis and Aaron. This is their first remodel. They're now doing remodels all the time for people. Travis and Aaron, they're just incredibly skilled at what they do. There are some awesome renovations going on uh, in this video.